Hi everyone and welcome back to Nick's Diecast. For today's video I'll be showing you and reviewing this 118 scale BMW 5 Series made by Welly GT Autos. This is a really high-end model um, from Welly. Their GT Autos line, as you can see back here, um, is kind of like their higher-end line of uh, diecast models. I would compare them to auto art models. They're very, very uh, well detailed. I actually got this model for a very good price. So back in the spring of 2015, um, a seller on Amazon put up a bunch of these BMW 5 Series models from Welly um, for sale on Amazon.com. Um, I saw a video, another person reviewed a blue version of this model and I saw it and then I ended up checking the Amazon site and saw that they had a bunch of them still left over. I got this model for actually $60 and that I think includes shipping and everything too. But I would compare this to the detail of a $100 plus auto art model. Um, so it's a really good deal. You can actually still find um, this 5 Series online today. It'll be ex more expensive, probably closer to $80, but even for that price, I'd say it's uh, well worth it. AmericanExcellence.com has a gold version, I think, currently listed. And I believe you can find it elsewhere, too, on like eBay and whatnot. But overall, this is one of Welly's, I think, best models in terms of its overall detailing and, and everything. As you can see, it came with this uh, nice box with the picture of the BMW 535i on it, um, on the side and, and, and on the side. Would have been cool if that was like the rear of the car and this was the front, um, but it wasn't. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the multitude of awesome details here. We'll go ahead and start with the front of the model. Well, I did an excellent job with this front end here. Uh, headlights are pretty much perfect. There's really not that big of a gap between the plastic and the metal work. Uh, all the bulbs are detailed as separate castings, and there's no peg to be seen, of course, which is nice to see. Um, the signature kidney, kidney grill is what they call it for these uh, 5 Series models. This is a see-through grill, as you can see on both ends here, which looks really, really nice. Uh, the badge is three-dimensional. It's a separate plastic piece. It looks awesome. It isn't just painted on there. Um, and the inscription above the uh, spinning logo there looks really cool. This lower grill down here is not, um, it's not metal or anything, but it is perforated plastic and it looks really good. You can actually see through the uh, mesh. So it is a true grill. Um, most models even of the $60 price range don't have like perforated grills, but this one for Welly does. I'm really glad that they in in included that on detail on there. Paint quality is pretty much flawless. Uh, the 5 Series came with in this nice metallic silver, and Welly did a really good job with like nailing like all the sparkles and everything like that. It just looks great. Um, it does get a bit dusty, so I use a microfiber cloth because with higher quality paint, it might get kind of scratched up if you use like a rough paper towel. So try to avoid that with models like this, and use like a microfiber cloth, which doesn't have any fibers in it, or it <laughs> doesn't have any roughness in it. I should say. Uh, wheel detailing looks very good as well. Uh, the BMW logo is in the center there. It's not like a separate plastic piece like the front is, but it does look great. It's painted on nicely. The wheels have like an have like an aluminum look to them. They're plastic, but they look like they're made of metal. They're so well detailed. Um, the disc brake does actually spin with the wheel and through the caliper, which is also very nicely um, executed. Not sure, I think these are sensors on the sides here. There's one on each side of the fenders. It's a separate piece and it looks pretty good. What, whatever it might be. <laughs> um, full side glass windows with this nice chrome trim that also looks like it's metal. Um, even the sunroof looks good as well. There's a radio antenna up here, which is a separate plastic piece. Not loose or anything, which, which is great. You we would kind of um, expect that with a model of this price range. Moving along to the back of the model. Tail lights look very good as well. No pegs to be seen. Nice and flush with the metal portions of the car. Another uh, badge back here, which is all in a three-dimensional. This 535i back here, those are separate numbers. They look really, really good. I think they're stickers, but they look like they're made of metal. They just look so well detailed, especially from, from, from a distance too. There's a nice German license plate back here, same one that you see on the front there. These very small taillights are separate pieces down here. I guess they're reverse lights, actually. Uh, but they look really good as well. They're not just painted on there. They're separate plastic pieces, which is nice to see. Exhaust pipes are chrome. Not a big deal, because they're pretty hollowed out, it looks like you can see. Um, 
through like the insides of them and everything. So that's a nice um, detail there. They even include the defroster on this rear windshield here. That's really, really cool. I don't have any other models that actually have the rear um, defroster on the, win on, the, on the rear window. So that's a really cool feature. This model comes with a door opening tool, as you can see here. Um, you just put it in the, in the door handle like so, and then it opens up like that. We'll take a look at the more boring stuff first, like the trunk. <laughs> Open that up. So this trunk is fully carpeted. I'm sure that's impossible to see in there, but there now you can kind of hear it. And the trunk goes all the way to the back. Like my fingers are actually touching the back seat here. So it, it is a full size trunk, fully detailed and carpeted, which is very nice um, to see that. Even the underside of the trunk lid has this kind of felt carpeting to it. So that's very, very cool. This is actually my first model I got with carpeting in it. So I, I, was, I was happy about that <laughs> for sure. Let's check out the engine next. And that's where this also can come into play. There's no button underneath to open the hood like on other models, like on other Welly models or auto arts and whatnot. But you do have this tool that kind of gets it open for you. So engine detailing, I would say, is pretty good. Um, it's not just one plastic piece. It's made up of a few plastic pieces. Uh, all the coloring in there looks accurate. There's a BMW logo embossed in, in the center there. And it says um, uh, BMW right there with just plain black letters. There's some warning labels throughout and a couple braces. Not the most detailing in the world, but again, on the real 535i, most of the parts are hidden. Um, so it does look um, pretty good. This is actually metal here, these two black portions. So that's really cool to see. Let's close that up. And of course, all four doors open on this model, which is great to see. Um, I'm going to open up all four, then we'll take a look at the full interior. This is a very impressive model overall. This is my first um, BMW, so I have two BMWs. My other one's a Z8 by Meister, which I also uh, did a review on, so be sure to check that out too. This door's a bit harder to open than the other ones. The detailing on this interior is excellent. Even, even if this was comparable to an Art Art, it's still excellent um, detailing, for sure. Door panels, well detailed very, very nicely. They have a nice leather pattern on them. These door handles are separate pieces. Even the little locks are on there too. That's just incredible attention to uh, every little um, detail and everything. These door cells, they look like they're made of metal, but they're actually plastic. Um, they say BMW on them. They look very, very good. Detailing on the dashboard is excellent. There's a very nice like leather pattern on there. Even the wood grain looks um, accurate. The seats have a nice texture on them too. They feel like they're actual leather. Um, full carpeting throughout, as you can see here, you can run your finger along that and it is felt. Very, very nice. The seats actually slide back and forth, as you can see here, uh, which is a nice extra detail. All the buttons are on the center stack and they look very, very nice. They're very well done, um, all put in the right places, which is great to see. There's even seat belts with metal buckles too, as you can see on the back seat here. Real seat belt material and also the metal buckles, they just look incredible. The rear, um, the, the backs of the front seats have these TV screens that are turned on. And even the buttons back here for like the memory settings and the HVAC controls for the passengers are separately painted on and well detailed. That's really awesome to, to see. We'll move that seat back just so you can see how it works and everything. Very, very cool to have that on extra feature. And this sunroof actually opens and closes too, as you can see here with that little cover. That's just awesome. They have all this extra, um, extra detailing and features in here. There's a full headliner, as you can kind of see. There we go. Very nice. Um, even the, like the whole inside of the car is covered. There's no exposed metal whatsoever, which is awesome. Even on some higher end models, they have like exposed metal in some places. But this one, you can't see any touch of metal on the interior whatsoever, which is excellent. Incredible, incredible job on, um, on uh, the part of Welly, I would say, for sure. There's kind of these like black scuff marks here on the seat, which is a bit weird, but when the doors are closed, you can't even tell. So that, that's just a little minor nitpick, I guess. Even like the storage section on the doors, they do like a hollowed out storage slot, which is really cool to see. <laughs> There's a lot to kind of take in with this interior in terms of its detailing. It's just incredible. Let's take a look at this side too. 
The steering wheel is also very well detailed. It has BMW in the center and also the, so the buttons on the sides there. Um, and the pedals, as you can tell here, they're made of separate plastic pieces and they have a nice kind of rubber feel to them too, which is really kind of um, interesting. Um, but there is carpeting, as you can see, which, which surrounds uh, the seat and the pedals too. There's even buttons on here um, on the side that are all separately painted. Yeah, there's a lot to say about this model and its interior. It's just incredibly well detailed. Let's go ahead and close up all these doors here. They're kind of stiff because I haven't opened them too much over the last few years that I've had the model. One nice full glamour shot there of the car. <laughs> uh, the undercarriage, I'd say it's pretty well detailed. There's a heat shield and the exhaust pipes go throughout the whole thing. They aren't chrome, they're actually painted in silver, so that's a nice little touch there. Um, overall, yeah, I'd say it's a nice solid um, undercarriage. Overall, this is an incredibly detailed model, and if you can find one for any price between like $60 and even $100, I would say definitely get it. Um, it's a nice, moderately inexpensive way to get a BMW in your collection with you know carpeting and full details and whatnot. If you're a fan of the 5 Series, or I'm a fan of luxury cars in general, um, and I like getting good deals and die cast too, so that's pretty much the reasons why I got um, this model in particular. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. I hope this was, was a helpful video with um, kind of getting into the details of this model and everything like that. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram page, which is Nick's Diecast page, all over case and no spacing. Thanks for watching.